Hi, Johnny. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, and you? So introduce yourself to me in English and Spanish, in um, Vulcan, in any language you like. Well, uh, I'm in Spanish and I was born in Valencia, Spain, the, the land of paella. Do you know paella? I do know uh, paella. And the, the party of fallas. Okay, pues this is my city, no? Uh, in Valencia, I studied philosophy at the University of Valencia. And I graduate with a study on the influence of Jewish, Jewish Kabbalah on the modern political thought. No? I studied a master's degree in human rights. Uh, now um, I'm a teacher, a teacher of humanities at the Catholic University of Avila. Uh, now I'm doing uh, since 2016 a PhD about uh, singularity and the end of history at the at University of Valencia. So tell me because, and you can do this in Spanish, how do you, when you see yourself, I mean, you, you studied religion, you studied philosophy, you live in Spain, you're obviously connected to Spain. Um, tell me, like, because to me, part of mm. what we're going through is about changing the terms, redefinition, like we're some of the same things, but we're shifting. So how do you define yourself? A teacher, okay. a humanist, a Spanish mm, person? First, I'm a person, no? <laughs> and um, I receive a religious uh, education no? in a Catholic school. And for me, the, 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 religious, the religious culture is a part of, of my life, my family, and my education. No? Uh, I'm interested in transhumanism because it's a, it's a, um, a real movement uh, that uh, unifies uh, philosophy, uh, theology, science, uh, and other forms of culture. And I say, okay, this is my, my object of study. No? Tell me, I mean, you've studied religions a lot. I mean, that's been the, tra the trajectory of your education. Mm -hmm. How, do you feel like transhumanism or people, singularitarians, or whatever, is, that, is, is that a religion or how do you define a religion? What, what is the connection between your, your study of mm. Kabbalah and mystics to mm. transhumanism, which is very rooted in non-mysticism? The question is that I think that mm, many ideas of transhumanism, uh, like uh, political culture of Europe or the States, uh, are en route no? in, the, in the theological uh, tradition. And uh, uh, transhumanism or other forms of, or, of culture, I think that is a secular version of uh, many theological ideas. But for me, this is not a problem uh, because uh, I think that all ideas are connected uh, and uh, is very uh, Reads for uh, all persons uh, to know the the history of the human ideas. No? So that's the connection. That the, the, these ideas are connected. Mm. I mean, I think it's very interesting what you said that that transhumanism is the secular version of a lot of these, you know, religions. And it's funny because those, to me, are in conflict: secular and yeah. religions. And yeah, I, I think what I what I get from what you're saying is that the two religion tries to answer various questions in terms of who we are, how we came here. And transhumanism says we don't need those answers because we're in charge. I mean, what's, how would you frame it? I don't think that's right. But I mean, if religion says here, here are various stories, traditions that are gonna inform you in terms of who, who and what you are, what does transhumanism or singularitarianism do in that same way? 
in the inverse. Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, for example, uh, when we are optimistic uh, with the future, I think that the the optimistic the optimistic vision of the future uh, are a religious question uh, because uh, in the Judeo-Christian tradition the the change of the concept of time uh, is this uh, in the ancient in the ancient uh, cultures no the time is circular. And uh, in the Judeo-Christian tradition, the time is linear. No? And the, the transformation no? or, or the, the rupture of linear time, I think that uh, it's, a, it's a religious question, but another religious question. No? Uh, this question is uh, developed in, in modern, modern times uh, with philosophy, with science, and with uh, secular uh, thinking, in my opinion, uh, it's not a problem for uh, understand correctly uh, the theological or religious uh, ideas and the secular ideas, because uh, uh, it, uh, uh, two uh, forms of or, or two philosophies no, are uh, connected in history. So to tell me, I, you obviously are very familiar with FM 2030. Um, well, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about your familiar, when you first came across him, what he meant, what you may have learned from, from our film. Um, give me a sense of that. My first impression is that FM is a great guru, no? a, a, a person with a very uh, a great impact in mass media. No? Uh, but when I uh, read his books, uh, I think I I have a very positive impression because. The, the ideas of FM uh, are profound. Uh, it's not a um, populist philosophy no? or, or a popular philosophy. The philosophy of FM is uh, in dialogue no? with Martin Heidegger, a philosopher uh, who, who wants to super uh, 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 the, the great problem of human culture. And this is a, a very important question, in my opinion. Which, which one? Which question? The, the relation of different cultures. No? No, uh, for example, Julian Huxley, when uh, he wrote his philosophy of transhumanism, uh, talked about this. Uh, I, uh, and I think that FM continues the ideas of Julian, but I don't know if FM uh, knows uh, or, or know Julian in person. So, I mean, it would, I don't think they ever met. <laughs> so when you say it's a continuation, are you talking about the, you know, how we deal with diversity or difference? Is that what you're talking about? How um, different cultures or different geographies can um, adapt and, and live, work together. Is that, what you're, is that what you're referring to? I think that the proposal of FM is a new form of culture to super the, the conflicts uh, of the different cultures. No? I think this is, the, this is one of the questions of his philosophy universalism and and so mm -hmm. so in terms of these pieces how does that relate to your doctorate or your your studies what tell me sort of what pieces of of fm do you take what do you agree with what do you disagree with i agree with uh, the optimistic vision of time my, my philosophical and religious vision of time is optimistic, like FM. 
but I think that his vision of the past uh, is some pessimistic. Uh, because, be because, yeah, because I think that uh, the past is important to understand the future. No? And uh, in Latin, Cicero says, uh, Historia magistra vite. The history is the teacher of life. No? And uh, I don't understand uh, why uh, FM uh, want a rupture with past. In my discussions with him, I mean, this is a guy who may have beaten up on the past a lot, mm. but had a huge wealth of knowledge of history, of culture, and so on. And I think it was less about dismissing the past as much as we tend to romanticize it. I think it was less mm. that we the don't romantic to... vision. Yeah, I think it's, it's the same thing that we, we hear a lot about today in America, where the histories that have been written have been written through the lenses of the victors. I mean, history is always written by the people who win. And so, you know, and it forgets a lot of things that have happened or spins them when we see this now with all of these statues and these things that are happening here. And I think for FM, he, he, he real, not only does he realize that, which is a realization that you have hopefully when you're, you know, in school and young and you realize, oh, this book was written by blah, and we have to take this with a grain of salt. I, I think, and he also sensed, and I, I see it in my own life, how often I suddenly, oh, I feel homesick. England or I feel like I see something and I, hmm. or I, I, in my head I'm like I think about this place my home my birth in this way and then if I take a step back I'm like well you know I love I'm not beating up on England for sure <laughs> but <laughs> it's not always as good as I create it's the, the feeling is this warmth and, and and I think he felt that this this aspect this um, nostalgia kept us from moving forward because we pretend the past was so, that's what i think it wasn't that history is um doesn't hmm. inform our future hmm. so do you i mean do you do you have the same sense that we we that nostalgia can be a detrimental thing in terms of Depends. our growth if you uh, have um, a nostalgia uh, for the good uh, is a good thing, no? Uh, or, or nostalgia for the love, no? Uh, is a good question, no? Uh, but uh, if the nostalgia is um, a wall in time, uh, it's a, a bad problem, in my opinion. And I, I agree with FM with this. In terms of the pieces of transhumanism that you subscribe to, um, which is this, we are moving forward. We are, we are, I mean, I guess in, if, in FM terms or even Ray Kurzweil sort of terms is that we are gonna create a new history. There's, this is the end of this history mm -hmm. and we're gonna create this new history and we will become these new, better beings. How much of that as a reality and do you see? I mean, what, or do you predict or do you ascribe to? I think that the culture of singularity and artificial intelligence is a great occasion to create a new form of civilization. No. Uh, and if uh, we uh, will go to Mars or another uh, parts of the universe, we uh, we will experiment a new new culture. And this is, I think, that this is a great good for humanity. No? Uh, I, I'm according with the, this uh, optimistic vision of future. In my opinion. Um, uh, the, um, the singularity and the uh, general uh, IA, no? uh, the, the hard IA, 
um, is uh, depends, no depends because I don't believe that the the human spirit uh, is um, a question of the past, no, because. For example, I, I believe that uh, we are material and spiritual. And in my opinion, the, the spiritual uh, world is uh, uh, very important to uh, uh, work in the progress of humanity. No? I have an impression with singularity that the the philosophy of singularity is only in the material uh, level of the reality in my opinion so what when you say the spiritual i mean and again this is obviously a hard hard concept in english never mm -hmm. mind for, for, for you um mm -hmm. what does the spiritual mean to you is it well i don't want to put words in your mouth but what does that mean some people say the heart, some people say the soul, some people say the spirit. Hmm. I mean, is that just code for we don't fucking know? Like, you know, this is, there's some other energy or something. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, what, how, and again, you can explain in Spanish, like how you who are studying the this, this sort of connection between these religions and um, these, these, um, transhuman movement, singularity movement that are grounded in science, how the sort of intersection between the science and the, we're back to that, that same thing. Like, mm -hmm. what it, is, that, is that right? Am I, am I saying correctly? Is when you talk about the heart, is, could I be saying that's our soul? That's who, you know, is that the same? Yes. Yes, I think that the heart is the the point connects the the connection point uh, of the God and the humanity. No, and for example, uh, uh, Ray, Ray Kurzweil says that uh, this point is singularity. No, that uh, but but I think uh, that in the in the most profound part of the heart is the presence of God. Uh, and the, the, the heart of all, all people. No? In terms of, I mean, one of the things that, that we're, we're thinking about, so, and th this again is related, is this idea of, of extended longevity and mortality. I mean, do you think, so you, th what do you think is the timeline for some of the, things that transhumanists talk about? In my opinion, if I say anything about the, the moment of the singularity or the technological progress, uh, it, I'm a liar, no? <laughs> um, but the question of immortality, in my opinion, uh, is very, very ambitious. I, I don't know that it is possible uh, uh, because, for example, in in time, uh, uh, one sense of time, uh, in my opinion, is the the f we are finite, no, uh, and uh, the the finite the finite uh, being. Is a fountain of beauty in in most moments. No? I, I, you know, I've thought about this question a lot because a lot of people seem to believe that the finality of our existence is what drives us. Is what there's a lot of people that believe that. I'm I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I'd like to believe that I'm that I'd be driven to do to understand to know. Um, whether I was, I had another 10 minutes or another 10,000 mm. minutes, 10, 10 million, 10 billion minutes. <laughs> um, I think you're saying that our death is what mm. drives us to create more meaningful existence. In, in this point, uh, or I think that our uh, transhumanism and Judeo-Christian tradition are connected because the hope uh, 
uh, in my opinion, is the same uh, because uh, the a world without uh, ill, no, uh, or not ill, or yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. no, a, a world without sin is an yeah, okay. is an immortal world, no. So, so do you think the that the, the the future that FM or Kurzweil vision is a future without sin? I mean, is the con what is the concept of sin? How does that how how does that equate in in transhuman uh, terms? In transhuman terms, uh, the concept of sin, I think, uh, is uh, when. We not control our being, our nature, and our heart. No. Is the lack of control that we have over certain things that yes. is sin in, in transhuman terms? The the loss of freedom and the the problem of emancipation of nature. As we are approaching the singularity, and you can upload your consciousness. Hmm. Tell me about a utopia or a heaven that you would design, that you could, that you envision, that you imagine. What would that look like? Tell me, give me a sense of it. I I like the world of the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> and uh, it's a um, a funny world in my opinion. If I live in in the in the cloud, I want to live in the in the Middle Earth. No? <laughs> and Spain's an interesting proposition because you have you had your own history of immigration and secession and nationalism and Basque country mm -hmm. and this and uh, Catalonia and obviously there's you see in America with all the rise of nationalism and, and so on. What's your sort of impression about? the trajectory of a more universal place considering Spain's history and you as a, an aficionado of, of our history informing our, our future? The Spanish culture is, uh, is very particular uh, because uh, in the Spanish world we have uh, uh, many cultures and I think that is very, very rich. No? Uh, but the, the ideas of the uh, Hispanic world or, the, or the, the Hispanic crown are in the past, in my opinion. Uh, in the Hispanic world, we need another plan uh, for the future, no? uh, because um, we are uh, separate uh, and I think we have a global language, the Spanish, no? we have a common culture and we have an opportunity to develop another form of culture, no? in my opinion. Can you tell me that in Spanish? Because I'd like you to, because I, I, I know that you're going to be so much more effusive. Tell me in Spanish, and then, because I get a sense of where you're coming from. But if you were going to okay. say in Spanish, like, what, how, FM, give me sort of a sense of, encompass what you've said in, in, in Spanish about where we are, where we're going, what the problems are. Well, any, any, give me sort of an encapsulation. In Yo creo que la filosofía de FM 2030 es muy importante para conocer qué cultura nos espera. Y en el mundo español eh, creo que debemos prepararnos para el cambio tecnológico que se avecina. Porque eh, si no corremos el riesgo de que... Eh, nuestra cultura común se disuelva por no desarrollar las nuevas tecnologías. Y me parece que ten tenemos una ocasión para redefinir nuestro futuro como cultura y para aportar algo nuevo al mundo en, en el siglo XXI. ¿no? Yo creo que 
si el, el, los hispanos encuentran un nuevo motivo para trabajar juntos, eh, podrán dar grandes cosas a la humanidad porque es una cultura, una cultura multicultural de la que mucha gente puede aprender, muchas otras culturas, y que además cuando los extranjeros miran a los hispanos ven muchas virtudes que los hispanos no vemos en nosotros. Y este yo creo que es nuestro, nuestro principal problema, que no sabemos valorar eh, las cosas buenas que hacemos y que podemos hacer. I got some of it. My Spanish is poquito, poquito, and I, but I've been watching a lot with this. Yeah, the new, I, this sort of sense of this new, new time, new world where um, we're, we're living in a pande global pandemic, ironically. Yeah. You know, yeah. So tell me a little bit about this experience and how that relates to the transhumanist idea anyway of we're going to solve all these problems. And we're living in this global culture, which obviously has very positives because we can do things as, you know, in terms of a globe, but also we can spread pandemics and disease and, and so on. So what, how does it relate to some of your philosophy? How is this? Everybody talks about this is the turning point. Is that, do you believe that? I believe that uh, the, this pandemic is an opportunity to... Uh, to know the, the value no, of uh, vulnerability. No? Uh, because vulnerability is an occasion to, to help the people. The COVID is very tragical, but for example, if before Renaissance is the, the Peste Negra, ¿no? The bubonic... Uh, play. The bubonic play. Yeah. Uh, the, the bubonic was a, a occasion to create another form of culture, an occasion to uh, live uh, another values, another ideas, uh, to construct another cities. ¿no? And I think that this pandemic uh, is an occasion to to work uh, all uh, in another direction. No? This. Mm -hmm. I guess my last question really to you is, what are your, and again, you can do this in Spanish if it's more comfortable, your biggest fears and your biggest hopes for today and the future? Primero, mi, a mí me da miedo que que nos deshumanicemos por el miedo. ¿Qué es el miedo? Miedo es fear. Yeah, okay. Fear. Mm -hmm. si, si tenemos miedo al futuro y a las personas, el mundo, el mundo será, será peor. Es una bad, a bad situación, ¿no? Eh, pero, but, Uh, if we uh, are optimistic or uh, we uh, are hum hopeless, no? Hopeless, yeah. Hopeless. With hopeful, I mean, the opposite of optimistic is hopeless, yes. The... And, and hope is, uh, oh, yeah, hope, is hope the hopeful. same, no? Hope, well, yes. Hopeful, hopeful, no? Or hopeless, hope. yes. Uh, if we are hope, hope Uh, fall, uh, we will construct a, a better world than this. No? This is the, the question. Um, and in my opinion, the, the Christian culture and the, or, or the Judeo Christian culture and the transhuman, and the transhuman culture uh, have has or have? Have, 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 have. Have an op optimistic vision of the future. No. And this is a point of uh, a 
a common point of view. And my my hope is that uh, the pandemic uh, humanize uh, the the conscious of all persons, because the the vulnerability or uh, the pain, no, when uh, the the pain of the persons uh, or or pain, no. Uh, it's an occasion to um, to think, to uh, to love uh, other persons. No, I think this. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I, I hope so. Muchas gracias uh, por uh, tu película, uh, por todo tu trabajo, y gracias por tu interés y por uh, esta entrevista.